In today's news, the toddler who has been missing since Sunday evening in Chiang Mai has reportedly been found. Meanwhile, as Huan Hin gears up for reopening next month, local communities are now saying they want to delay the plan until businesses can prepare the necessary safety precautions. And heavy rainfall is expected in the next 24 hours throughout most of Thailand. Details on these stories coming right up. Hello and welcome to the Tiger Channel and you're now watching Thailand News Today, your daily news roundup. We broadcast Monday to Friday along with our other shows on the channel such as Good Morning Thailand, our daily talk show, and Tiger Bites where we respond to your comments and feedback. We start out with news in Chiang Mai where the toddler who has been missing since Sunday evening has reportedly been found. A man allegedly admitted to kidnapping the one year and 11 month old girl and leaving her outside a cave as, you can't make this stuff up, a sacrifice to the spirits of the mountains and the forests. This morning, a 44 year old Burmese man reportedly gave rescuers directions to the cave where he allegedly left the 23 month old girl known as Gina. Reports say the girl was found safe in a hut outside the cave around three kilometers from her home in a remote village. Over the past few days, multiple police agencies and volunteers have been working together to find the missing child. Heat-seeking drones and sniffer dogs have also been used. Divers and a rescue unit also searched a pond near the village. The girl went missing at around 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday while her mother was cooking and her father was taking out the trash. According to Thai media, the man said a spirit in the forest told him he wanted a child to live with. The man saw Gina walking alone and decided to take her to the forest as an offering to the spirits. A Thai immigration official has been transferred from his post and is now being investigated for allegedly demanding regular bribes from an immigrant in southern Thailand. The officer in Songkla's Hat Yai district allegedly threatened arrest if the immigrant did not give him a monthly payment. Officers from Immigration Division 6 have now launched an investigation into the claims and say they will be transparent and impartial, adding that if the officer is found guilty, he will be punished accordingly. The investigation was launched after an anti-corruption watchdog group posted an audio recording on their Facebook page, allegedly of a conversation between the immigration officer and an unnamed migrant, where the officer asked about money the migrant owes. According to a Nation Thailand report, the migrant can be heard answering that he is currently unable to pay due to financial hardship from COVID-19. The person who is alleged to be the officer responded by threatening the man with arrest if he did not pay. Hua Hin may not be reopening to foreign tourists next month after all. Businesses and local communities have expressed their reservations about the reopening to travelers who are vaccinated against COVID-19 under the Hua Hin Recharge Project. An advisor from the Bertuop Kirikan's Chamber of Commerce says they doubt Hua Hin will reopen next month as many locals are not on board with the project. He says that more time is needed for the hotels and restaurants to make sure that their operations are in line with requirements and standards for the project. On the other hand, the vice president of the Thai Hotels Association, Udom Si Maha Shota, says he does not see Hua Hin encountering the same problem that the Phuket Sandbox program has encountered. He says that if restrictions like the ones imposed in Phuket were imposed in Hua Hin, Thai tourists would avoid the district. This would strongly affect the district as 75% of Hua Hin's visitors are Thai, according to Udom. Many hotel operators in Thailand are considering shutting down temporarily, according to a survey by the Bank of Thailand and the Thai Hotels Association. Out of the more than 200 operators who participated in the survey, 52% say they are considering closing temporarily and 9% want to shut down for good. 62% of the hotels plan to reduce their workforce costs as a result of the financial fallout from COVID-19. 38% of Phuket properties said the number of foreign tourists arriving on the island is lower than they expected. 
However, 35% say the numbers are what they anticipated. Average occupancy in Phuket since the start of the sandbox scheme has been around 15%. In Suratani, where the Samui Plus reopening scheme is now in operation, hotel operators say tourist numbers on Samui are lower than they expected and average occupancy is just 4%. Hotels are struggling with low income and 58% of properties say their takings are less than 10% of their pre-COVID income. Tourism officials are pushing for the resumption of flights from Russia to Thailand. The Tourism Authority of Thailand says it's essential that commercial flights between the two countries be allowed to resume during the last quarter of the year. However, under Thailand's emergency decree, international flights can only operate as semi-commercial with limited seat capacity. An official from the Tourism Authority's Moscow office says this means the Russian Aviation Authority is still not allowing flights to Thailand. While there is some demand for Thailand in the Russian market, the lack of direct flights to places like Phuket is proving to be an obstacle. Aeroflot, the largest airline in Russia, also decided to suspend flights to Bangkok until October the 31st to avoid flying over Afghanistan's airspace. The tourism official says that if international air travel would resume between Russia and Thailand, Russian tour operators are prepared to operate charter flights within a month. Russia has recently resumed flights to 56 other countries, including destinations popular with Russian tourists, where there are fewer restrictions and lower costs compared to Thailand. Well, pack your umbrellas and drive slowly as heavy rainfall is expected in the next 24 hours throughout most of Thailand. The Thai Meteorological Department says the approach of Tropical Storm Kansan means most regions are in for some very wet conditions. Kansan is currently moving in a northwesterly direction across central Philippines and towards Vietnam. Over the next 24 hours, there is up to an 80% chance of rain across all parts of the country, with the exception of the south. The heavy rainfall is expected to continue until Monday of next week. Meanwhile, the Royal Irrigation Department has warned of the risk of downstream surges in rivers, which could be triggered by torrential downpours, including in Bangkok's Dao Praya River. In the northeastern province of Nakron Rajasima, all districts have been ordered to monitor the water levels of reservoirs. Some of the smaller dams in the province are already full. And that's all for the show, but check out the videos that just popped up to continue watching our Good Morning Thailand show with Mike and Jay and Tiger Bites, where we respond to viewer comments. Thailand News Today will be back tomorrow, so I'll see you then.